Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. You already know what is our today's topic. So this is my first report. And here I have the another Power BI report. Let's assume both are built on top of different datasets and they are not connected anyway. The requirement is to apply the slicer combination on this report and pass the same filter to another report even if there is no any connection. So how will you do that? Let's solve this problem. Before I start creating my DAX measure, let me first publish this report to Power BI service. So I am publishing this to PBI Demo Workspace. Once the report is published, I will click on this link to open my report in the browser. This is my published report. Next step is to jump into the another report from where I wanted to apply the slicer selection. This is another PBIX file. Here I will create a DAX measure. So I will select new measure, and I can name this measure as master filter. The first variable name will be called as base link. For that, I will go to the another report which is already published, and I will copy this much part of the link from the address bar. It will contain the group ID and the report ID of my published report, which I wanted to filter. So I will paste this link here. Remove this extra forward slash as well. All right. My second variable name is called filter. For that I will mention, question mark filter equals dim date year month. N. And then I will open this parenthesis. My third variable is to store the selected year month values. For that, I will use the concatenate x function. And I will create a concatenated list of all the selected year months, which will be comma separated. I also need to attach a close parenthesis here which pair is opened in the second variable. Because at the last, I am going to combine all of them as a single string value. Since I also want to filter with selected brands, I will create a similar variable for brand as well. I can write my expression exact same way as I did for year month filter. If you want more filters to combine, you will be required to create the expression same way. You just need to add the next filters after entering this a and d and. And don't forget to close this parenthesis here. Finally, in the return statement, I can concatenate all these variables to form a single text string. And this is going to be the final measure, which I am going to use. But how will I use that? For that, I will insert a blank button. I can format this button based on my requirement. Like I can mention the text as go to another report. And in button action, I will select web URL, and then I need to select my measure, which will dynamically assign the URL with different filter combinations. My solution is now ready. It's time to test it. Before that, please keep in mind that this entire output is case sensitive and there should not be any extra space like I have here or by mistake I have written this in capital letters. Save this measure and publish this report to Power BI service. So I can select my workspace and I can replace if any existing report is there with this name. Let's test it in the browser. So I am selecting two year months, May and June 2022. Then I will also select two brands. Same as applied in this below visual as expected. But if I will click on this link, it will open up the another report which is not at all connected to this, but is being filtered for the same slicer combinations. As that you can see, my both brand names are also visible here. This solution will be very useful for your Power BI projects. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for many such interesting topics on Power BI.